Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how I personally add text to things in Fusion 360. I'm going to be going over four different um, types. So the first one is just going to be how to add text on a flat surface. The next one something a little more round like a cylinder on to a sphere as well and then something a little more irregular. I'm going to add the timestamps below as well so if you want to skip ahead, go ahead. Um, but if not, let's get started. Okay, so if you would like to add text to a simple object like this one here that has flat surfaces, the first thing you're want to, gonna wanna do is sketch out the text that you're gonna want. So to do that, we are going to click Create, Create Sketch, and select the surface that you want to have text embedded on it. So I'm gonna click this front part over here. Now that we are in sketch mode, go into Create. Oh, it seems like it's a bit frozen text and then select the boundaries of your text by just making like this rectangle um, and now I'm going to enter some text so which is for this demo I'm going to use 3d bunny and you can select your font in this drop down over here um, I'm going to bold it center align it vertical align it so that's what this goes over here you can also flip it if you want to uh, but I'm just gonna leave it like this and this is also to adjust the size so if I want to make it bigger I can just enter the height and that's the height for me anyways it's in millimeters depends on what your settings are um, so now that we have the text sketched out we can just click finish sketch and that's all for the text but you see that it's not like if I were to 3d print this you wouldn't see the text right it's not in it yet so what you can do you can either extrude it so you can press E on your keyboard to extrude so I don't want this I only want the text and then you can extrude it like this or like this um, or if you would like to you can also use the emboss feature on Fusion 360 so click emboss then it asks you to select your sketch profile and the faces and um, I like to use 0.55 millimeters. I find that's like the best for 3D printing. For me, you do whatever is best for you and for what you need. Um, but I find 0.55 millimeters is like a good depth where you can see the text clearly and there's no like drooping and you don't need supports or anything when you do print it. So that's just like the number that I always use. Uh, so then I'm just gonna, oh, oh sorry, over here you can select emboss or deboss so deboss will embed it which is what I want or you can emboss it where it will um, sort of stick out Let's see so I'm gonna go with deboss and press OK and there we go now we can see that the text has been embedded into my object okay so when adding text to a rounded surface like this cylinder shape or whatever it gets a little trickier because now we're dealing with flat text onto a round surface which means there's possibility for distortion so I'm going to show you two ways um, to add text one with distortion one without you might need either method for your project so I think it's good to know both and what the differences are um, just in case so here we go I have this really simple cylinder shape um, first things first is I want to be able to sort of sketch out the text in front of my object first. So to do that I'm going to go to construct, offset plane, select this back plane over here and just drag it out so it's somewhere in front of the shape. Doesn't matter where, just as long as it's in front. And hit enter to create your plane. Then I'm going to create a sketch on this plane that I just created. So to do that you go to create and then create sketch and select your plane that you want to sketch on. So this is the one. And now I'm going to add text to my sketch. So again, create. Now we're in sketch mode, so I can go to create and select text. And then just drag out a, a, a rectangle of like the boundary that I want my text to be in. About that, that looks good. And then just enter the text that you want. You can select the, the font that you want um, from this menu. Let's say um, Arial Narrow. And let's make this a little bit bigger. I want it to be on one line. That's perfect. Bold. Oh, now we need to make it a little smaller. And then I'm going to center align it and vertically align it by clicking those two buttons here and then press OK. 
So that's it for our sketch. You can click finish sketch. Now you can see I have my text in front of my shape and I want it to be embedded into this shape so that I can 3D print this object. Um, okay, so now that I have my text, this is sort of the distorted way of doing things. It's not the wrong way, it's just a way of adding text to your shape. So to do this, you press E on your keyboard to extrude and then you select your sketch, which is my text. And now I'm in extrusion mode. In the menu over here, I'm going to select Extent to Object and select your object. Now you can see it extruded the text all the way to the object, but it kind of just projected it. So um, this will have distortion, so keep that in mind because it really just takes the flat image and projects it to the surface doesn't matter if the surface is round or flat or whatever, it's just going to project it straight on. So just bear that in mind. Um, now I don't want to join it right away, I want it to be a new body so that I can then push it into the object and then cut it with those items. Um, so yeah, so just make sure that's new body and then press OK. So now if you see if I turn this off, you can kind of see how it's distorted, right? See, look at the three, it's very at an angle. Um, which is okay, sometimes people want this effect, sometimes you don't. So it depends on your situation. So now to embed it into my shape, I'm going to move it first. So to select all, I just click and drag and select those shapes. You can also manually select them from the menu. I like to click and drag. And when they're all selected, you can press M on your keyboard to move. And I'm going to push it in by 0 0.55 millimeters. That's the depth that I find the best for 3D printing. And then press OK. And it looks like nothing happened. That's OK. It's, the magic hasn't happened yet. So now we're going to press Combine, select this object, and then the tools, which will be my letters. And then we ensure that this operation is cut. So I wanted to cut the shape with these letters that I just pushed in and then press OK. And there you go. Now I have text on my shape. Uh, now I'm going to show you the second way. So the second way is a little bit easier. You go to Create, Emboss. Now I already have my text drawn out. So the, the first thing it asks is the sketch profile. So I just clicked on the eye to reveal the sketch um, because this is the text that I, that I want to emboss. And then it asks you to select the face, so I want this face. And it kind of does it right away, but you can see the difference in distortion here. Right now they're right on top of each other. I'm going to move them down, but you can see how distorted the Y is in the first method. Uh, so I'm just going to drag this down a bit. And then what's nice with emboss is it gives you the options if you want it emboss, which is outwards, or deboss, which is what we already did. So let's just go with deboss so I can show you the, the difference. Uh, and then press OK. So that way is, is really a lot simpler. Um, probably what I would recommend doing all the time since it is the easiest, but there might be a case where you do need the distortion for whatever reason. Uh, so there you go, you can see same, I didn't adjust the size of the text, it's just that one is distorted and one is not. Just wanted to add a little side note to the second method that I showed you. Um, is that if you need text to wrap around the entire surface of your cylinder then you definitely want to go with the second method which is using the emboss tool um, because if I just project this to the surface it's not going to wrap around but if I do emboss so you go to create emboss we saw it already select your sketch so I just wrote 3d bunny three times select it and then select your face which is the cylinder and, I, and I'm going to deboss it again like we did before. And press OK. And then if I just turn off the sketch, look at that. It wraps around the whole shape. Isn't that cool? Okay, so if you watched my previous videos, you know by now what the emboss tool is for Fusion 360. Unfortunately, that tool doesn't work on a sphere because the emboss tool requires that you select a face, and this is technically not a face in Fusion 360 when it's a perfect sphere. So 
you do have to go like the more manual distorted way that we already learned about so that's what I'm gonna do so to do that first things first I want to sketch out the text that I'm gonna be embedding sort of like in front of uh, this sphere so here so what I'm gonna do is click construct offset plane so that I have a surface to sketch on and I'm just gonna pull it out um, from this back one here just so that it's somewhere in front of the sphere it doesn't matter where just in front is perfect uh, and then hit enter to create the plane and then I'm going to click create create sketch and select that plane that I just created so now I'm drawing in front of the sphere but I can see um, the sphere and now that I'm in sketch mode I can click create text and select the boundaries of my text let's say here I don't know maybe you're making like a pool ball or something and you need to enter some text on the round surface it's pretty rare that I'm adding text on a round on a sphere like this but it happens so it's good to know all right so 3d bunny again just like my other demos uh, and let's go bold but narrow just for fun. I'm gonna center it again, vertical align it, and then press okay. So there we go, I have my sketch, that's all for that. Then I'm going to click E on my keyboard to go into extrusion mode, select my text. Now in the extrude menu, I'm gonna select, uh, sorry, extent to object. So that's going to extrude my text to the object that I select. In this case, it's this sphere. So I select that in the menu. And then I wanna make sure that the operation is new body. I don't wanna join it quite yet. I want to still push it into the shape and then cut it with it. So just new body will just create a new body and then press okay. So now you can see my text um, has been extruded and I'm going to show you what it looks like when the sphere is off. So you can see it's, it's it's extruded, kind of projected to the surface of your sphere. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, just see so you have a better view here. I want to push this text into the sphere. So select everything, click and drag and select everything. You can manually select it from the menu if you want, but just make sure all the letters are selected. Then press M on your keyboard pick this arrow because it goes this way not this way you want to go this way so I like if you see my other parts I like minus 0 0.55 millimeters and press enter so now I just moved it it looks like nothing happened then I'm gonna click combine select my sphere and then select those letters again click and drag make sure the operation is cut and then press OK, and there we go. Now we have text on a round sphere. Last but not least, in irregular surface, this is probably the most common uh, use case you're gonna come across, is just we wanna add text on any surface. Uh, and I would recommend using the emboss tool from Fusion 360, so in part one, which was just like the rectangular, and then the cylinder, I showed you how to do it uh, by projecting the text, but we're just gonna use emboss because that's the easiest. Okay, so first things first is I want to be able to sketch my text. Uh, so I'm going to create an offset plane just so I can, it doesn't matter where it is, I just want it to be in front of the shape. Uh, so you click construct offset plane and just anywhere in front here, it doesn't matter how far, is perfect. Hit enter and then I'm going to click create, create sketch on that plane that I just created. And then I'm going to click create, um, seems a little bit frozen, create text, there we go, and select the area that I want to add text in, and we're going to add 3D bunny again, let's do bold, let's make it a little bigger, 11 millimeters, 12. 12 looks good, and then I'm gonna center it and vertically align it by clicking these here, and then press okay. So that's it for my text. Now I want this text to be embedded on this surface so that I can 3D print this object with the text. So to do that, you go to create, emboss, my favorite feature. 
it, first thing it asks for is your sketch profile, so that's um, the text here, and then the face is going to be this wavy surface. So let's click that, and then and I want it to be debossed, so embedded. So that's what I click there, and then press OK. And there we go. It's as easy as the emboss tool. That's it for adding text to surfaces. If you want to add, let's say, your logo, it's the same concept, but instead of creating a sketch with text, you would create it by inserting an SVG. Um, if you want a video about that, let me know. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, good luck.